Hey, hey everybody, it's Scott Omaro back for another video here on Minecraft. I hope everybody's having a great day, guys. I'm having a great day. Basically, in this video, we want to uh, take a look at how Minecraft utilizes the CPU. Okay, so I'm in uh, Windows 10 here in the Performance tab of the Task Manager. And what we want to do first is just, I'll show you some system specs, but basically we want to get a baseline of what our CPU is doing before we start Minecraft, just to get a baseline. Now, OBS is recording, uh, so the usage that I'm seeing is some of that. All right, and then system overhead. Now, I have all other applications pretty much closed, just my system tray apps, which I try to keep at a minimum. Uh, and then Windows 10 is fairly tuned for performance as well. All right, but uh, I have an Intel uh, i9-10900F, uh, with a base frequency of 2.8 gigahertz, all right? But because of turbo boosting, it tends to run at 4.8, uh, which its maximum is five. So it's running, you know, pretty uh, efficiently at, at top speed, near, near top speed uh, with low temperatures and stuff like that, okay? Now I'm not team red or team blue on processors and I'm not team red or team green on GPUs, I've learned not to have corporate brand loyalties like that. I just use what I think is best at the particular time that I can afford or, or whatever when building a computer. All right. But we want to get this baseline here. All right. And see where we're at. 49% GPU, just normal activity with uh, uh, that's MSI Afterburner. Pretty much it's running as well. Um, and then, like I said, the CPU, just so we can get a base idea. Uh, the number of threads and stuff is kind of pertinent, but that stuff's hard to track in a way because it moves around a lot, changes a lot. All right, so let's uh, close this to not let it use resources. And let me switch my display here so we can get 1080p on Minecraft and go into just a pure vanilla Minecraft. All right and it should just take a second to load and then i'll use msi afterburner to monitor my cpu so i have uh basically 10 cores 20 logical processors there's two threads per core so 20 threads as well all right so i've got each one of these displayed here and i have a video on the channel about how to set up your msi afterburner i'll leave a link in the description if you want to learn that then i just have monitoring the GPU, monitoring the CPU temperature, and then uh, this is a composite calculation of the usage of the CPU, all right? Now, if you notice, or you can rewind, when I started up a Minecraft, then a lot of the CPUs were used because it was loading it as fast as possible, you know, allocating resources, all right? So let's see what Minecraft is doing uh, in relationship to that, you can see a lot of the cores were used while it was loading the world. All right, and so it'll settle down uh, once it's loaded because Minecraft is generally a single threaded application. It's not really multi threaded, but as my understanding, it does have some additional threads that it creates for different processes, but it's not considered uh, truly multi threaded. All right, uh, the way that the game is designed so uh if you pause the game all right then you can get a better picture of how the processors are being used and you'll see that it's pretty much jumping between cpus all right so if you watch it'll use cpu three like there it is then it'll hop down to four this is just on my system all right then it'll generally hop down to seven sometimes eight and then it'll pop back up to three. Now this seems pretty consistent in my tests on my machine, but you can see on your particular machine that um, if you don't have a significant number of processors, all right, if you just had it a single core, then Minecraft would, it's trying to use as much as it can. All right, it's, it's trying to use your CPU resources and then Windows is allocating basically what is allowed now 
I'm letting Windows mainly do it at this point because uh, my understanding from reading and researching is that it's tuned a lot better now in how that it moves resources around as needed. So it does that to maintain temperatures uh, and it tends to pick the strongest cores. Now, I, I want to go through and test that in detail to determine if that's true, but it tends to pick the strongest cores for that operation, sorry. And then it'll just keep moving them around, keep shuffling the core, because you can see it'll go to pretty much maximum on that core. But if you didn't have very many cores, especially if you had a single core, then you would have to calculate all of the system resources that were being used at the time for it for Minecraft to share resources. So right now the resources are being shared, as you can see, for, for recording video and such between other processes and the win and Windows background processes and stuff are being shared amongst these other cores. And a lot of that stuff is true multi-threaded applications where it can handle it. But Minecraft, again, is not. So it's tending toward maximizing whatever CPU that it's using at the time, okay? So that's kind of important to realize, but to also understand how it's hopping around. Now you can take some manual control over that, uh, setting things called affinity or priority for the processors and stuff like that. I tend not to want to do that at the moment, uh, just to be honest, for a general lack of not being smarter than the software engineers uh, for Microsoft and for Intel, you know, how they've optimized this for their particular system. However, you know, that's not to say that having researched and learned more that I may not want to take control over that. But I've seen FPS guides and stuff like that that basically tell you to do that and tell you to make registry entries and stuff that overrides that behavior. I'm not so sure that's advisable, honestly, especially because they're sending it out to a mass audience without knowing exactly what CPUs, number of cores, what type of CPU and stuff that people have. So, you know, you don't know what that performance is going to be. You don't know how it's going to affect their their overall system responsiveness and their temperatures and all that kind of stuff. So I think it's better at first to let Windows manage it, but to try to monitor it, to get some understanding of what it's doing. And then uh, the main thing I would be interested in is testing the strength of each core to be sure it's actually using the uh, you know, the strongest cores for that, uh, for single CPU operation. And that's one of the reasons that in particular, I chose this processor as because of its strong single uh, thread operations. All right. Um, and that's bearing fruit. I mean, I'm, I'm seeing that that is indeed the case in, in actual real world performance of Minecraft. But running around the world here, again, you can see that same pattern where it's it's jumping generally from three, then it'll push down to four, uh, then it'll usually jump down to seven, sometimes it'll use eight, sometimes it'll pop back up to three. Um, but it's moving this large demanding thread around processors all right and so that's interesting to see uh and that's where multi-core systems are helping with the performance of minecraft uh in particular because i have free threads that are available or three cores or whatever i think you know the terms are somewhat interchangeable they have different technical meanings but uh they're somewhat interchangeable but it's basically using different logical processors to do some of the other background, some of the cores to do some of the other background oper operations like recording video or recording audio uh, and all that kind of stuff. But the main resource intensive thread of Minecraft is dominating each core that it's using, but 
it's being pushed around it's being dynamically allocated uh, and again I think that is to in a way maintain temperatures you know maintain the balance and the the boost to keep your uh, CPU frequency up and to keep temperatures low all right so um, this is just kind of a, a how to think about it video more so than technical advice on anything it's how to monitor your system how to think about it how to see it uh, and then to some small degree to understand it although I can't say that I totally understand it um, you know it's at least giving me the tools and hopefully giving you the tools to see it and think about it and find out what is a good baseline find out what is normal and expected and then also to see what is you know if, if you're having problems running minecraft um, then what areas to look at to see because if your cpus are maxed and staying maxed and not moving around and you do have free uh cores available and free system resources that aren't being utilized then that's what you would try to uh, focus in on to fix you know to try to find fixes for it through your settings and all that kind of stuff sometimes bios settings sometimes setting cpu affinities uh, things like that there are settings that you can make tuning settings but you first of all need to know well is this the problem do i have the problem uh and you can see that my gpu is being used somewhat all right and some of it's from recording uh, but this is just pure vanilla minecraft so minecraft in itself is not using the gpu very much at all it's using cpus all right so anyway guys i want to keep this kind of short but uh i'm kind of sharing this journey with you of how i've uh, uh i'm trying to tune this computer to try to you know get maximum minecraft performance and understand in a at a basic level how minecraft does perform and what all these uh you know implications are and different things mean so anyway, Scott Omato, guys, I hope that was helpful to you in some way. If I have a video on the channel about MSI Afterburner if you want to set that up to monitor your own system and um, be able to try to troubleshoot or just, you know, check the tuning or understand how things are going. So anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I do so much appreciate it. If you like, then leave a like. And thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.